had several people message me, uh, communicate with me different things about Lawrence and the conversations that they had with him. And the good news, even though I think it's kind of weird that he's talking to so many people, but the good news is everything everyone has been saying is kind of lining together and it's staying consistent. And in today's video, I want to go over that and I want to share some other information with Fintel short interest, how many shares are available because we are getting hammered right now in pre-market as we have been all week, right? Before I do that though, don't forget to drop a like. I would truly appreciate that. Think about subscribing if you're not subscribed yet. Nothing I say is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just sharing my own opinion with you all. You have to do your own research at the end of the day. But what a horrible week. What a horrible couple months, right? We've been on a complete downtrend as I'm looking at the charts right now. And it's not fun. And I totally understand people's frustrations. If you ended up selling, I understand that, honestly. You know, for me, I have a certain strategy that I think will play out the way I want it to. Uh, so I'm holding, I'm not adding any more, but I am holding my Mullen stock right now. I think MAEO was created for a reason. I think Lawrence's technology is very real. Those situations are not concerns of mine. Um, the interesting thing is, MAEO gets 51%, Lawrence gets 49%. And I was watching Financial Journeys video yesterday, and I'm gonna play a, a quick clip for you all in a second, but he had a, a conversation with Lawrence. He got what he needed to hear, which is great to hear. I've always believed that MAEO is a real, real company and it's based off his technology and that Mullen would get 51%. And the whole goal of what everyone's hoping for is Saudi Arabia deal Friday, Tuesday, whatever it might be. We need some massive news this month because Lawrence has been saying a whole lot of stuff. A lot of hope has been put out to the public, but the stock price has been crashing down. So this stock needs to recover. It needs to recover fast. It needs to have a type of short squeeze at this point because if we don't get news on Friday or Tuesday, and if the news isn't sufficient enough to what we all think it is, then this stock isn't gonna move. Let's watch this quick clip. Split, they are going to split the profit. So in other words, Mullen is going to get that 51% through that LLC. Lawrence will obviously get the remaining part. So definitely, I think that is a fairly good thing. So why is David staying quiet right now? Well, David has been getting beaten up for months now, okay? And, and I have to put myself in David's shoes. I don't think David and his staff and the company is really concerned about the stock price. I think they're more concerned about building a company. And the crazy thing is, if you look back at the last 12 months and everything they have done and what they have accomplished, they're actually doing a pretty good job at building the company, but the stock price is not in correlation with the news with what they've been doing, unfortunately. So I don't think David really cares about the stock price right now. I think he's been beaten down by retail. Uh, this is why he has put his comments on private. You can't comment back to him. I mean, if I was David and, and everything he has been going through, and I understand retail is freaking out and pissed at the guy because he's the CEO and he doesn't seem to be doing his job like other CEOs would be doing. But if I was in his shoes looking from his perspective, he might be staying quiet for a couple different reasons. Maybe he's worried about the SEC. Maybe there's nothing really for him to say. It wouldn't change anything. Or maybe they have something really big planned and they're about to drop this news and then David is gonna be everybody's hero, right? So that's the whole thing that I think might be happening because it is lining up exactly with what Lawrence is saying by Friday or Tuesday that there's gonna be massive, massive news and everybody is gonna be proud and everybody is gonna be happy. He really feels for shareholders, he's stated in videos before. So that's really what this has come down to. Friday or Tuesday, we're all going to get our answer of what exactly this deal is, what is Mullen up to, um, and then hopefully this moves the stock to where we all want it to go, and then we can really start to build this company the right way we can get past all this manipulation and everything that's been going on. But let me know what you guys think down below on my theory of why David is staying quiet. I do think they have something massive planned. I just think they're waiting for the right time to drop the right news. It seems like they're also kind of aligned in that way where Lawrence says he doesn't like to say anything until the deal is done. 
but it sounds like deals are actually done in Saudi Arabia from what he's saying, but the announcements will either be Friday or Tuesday coming up. So today's Thursday, we gotta wait another day or possibly another four days. Let me know what your opinion is down below. Now this is utterly disgusting. You can see an hour ago, 750,000 shares available to borrow to short, right? And you can see this is climbed. So they have been hammering us for a couple of days now and I'm sure the bleeding will continue today. Again, I can't wrap my head around everything that they've done, all these convention shows, all these new hires. I mean, everything they've been marketing for this not to work out. I do think Mullen plays a role in the EV sector. I'm really big on these class one, class three vehicles. I think their partnership with Randy Marion is huge, but it is all coming down to Lawrence and his technology because that is where everybody's attention is towards right now. So I don't know what news we're gonna get on Friday or Tuesday, or honestly, if we're gonna get any news. I do believe we will get news from what Lawrence is saying. When he has said that we're gonna get news on certain days, it has happened every single time that we've gotten news on those days. So I think he's a loyal person, he's authentic, he's genuine, he's honest. And I have to believe that we will get news either Friday or Tuesday. I just don't know exactly what it's gonna be. But let me know what you guys think down below. Do you think this is all just smoke and mirrors? Do you think this is not real? This is all just one big show? And do you think we're gonna crash even further than we are today? Or do you think we're actually reaching a bottom and it's time for this stock to move up? Appreciate you for watching. Drop a like if you got any value and we'll see you later today.